from BF Nations. Welcome to this awesome match. This is going to be NASA, otherwise known as Astronauts Esports, up against MAG, also known as Muerte El... Oh, I don't speak Spanish, but yeah, that's what their name is. Muerte El Guiri. Muerte El Guiri. <laughs> Anyways. I have no idea what it means, but hopefully something. <laughs> I don't know if Muerte means death, but... So, I, I know it has something to do with death, but yeah, I am joined here by Chaos Zake, and I am your co your commentator and streamer, Kamaka18, as you can see right there. But yeah, we're gonna get in here with this awesome match, guys. So yeah, Zake, I don't really know too much about these teams. I have faced the Astronauts Esports guys in a few uh, lobbies a few times, but I've never faced Murta Algiri. Do you have any inside information on them, or no? Not too much, no. Uh, well... The team is, of course, Spanish, and the astronauts esports. I think they are um, uh, all around Europe team, or I think majority of them are from Poland, though. So, yeah, it's pretty much Spanish versus Poland today in this match. Spain versus Poland. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'm just making sure that the stream is actually up. BM. Yeah, we are. We are. We good. are. We're good? Awesome. Yes, the stream is going on. Awesome, perfect. Just had to make sure. Anyways, it appears that NASA is going the majority of their guys to the top and sending one guy down the middle. It, but it appears that ESP and the guys are... I mean, sorry, ESP. Um, yeah, ESP doing the same thing, pretty much. I'm assuming that a lot of them are on the Spanish team for the... for, uh, BF Nations. Anywho. Yeah, rocking the, uh... Rocking the heavy tank, but getting on the objective right here, we got Perkyo Castro, the leader right here. At least I assume he's the leader because he is the one who's a bike. Anyway, he's going to be getting taken down by a Viper PL, a very good player. I've played against him many times, but going to get revived by Zemo right there. And it appears that NASA is going to be getting on the point. Oh, we've got a little bit of a flank in progress right here by Astronauta PL. But he's going to get taken down by Zemo after he does do a little bit of damage. So I'm going to be making a little bit of a flank around as well from the logs. And Perkyo Castro a little bit caught up right there, gonna go down from the sick. But yeah, very good breakout here from NASA. Trying to make a little bit of a flank on the side here with the, the tank destroyer tank. He's actually gonna go down from a uh, Polish king right here with a little bit of help from Viper PL. Very good moves by NASA right there. So I would like to make sure for the viewers that the uh, even though based on the overlays you would be seeing the teams are actually on the other side. So we have actually Muerte there playing on the blue side and astronauts slash NASA on the web. So at the moment the overlays are incorrect, but that's how the teams are actually. My fault, man. But yeah, we will be getting the uh, we'll be getting it all good for next time. This is my first stream, so we're still working out all the things. Anyways, I'm gonna hop in here with a little bit of uh, Zemo right here. Actually, he's gonna get shot in the back by Viper PL. He is in a very good position, chilling up and behind the enemy team. They've got uh, Sabagi right here, just uh, all stuck by himself. Gonna need to wait for the rest of his team to come up. Battle Gamer and Perkyo Castro trying to come up and do a little bit of defensive line, but Viper just basically split them in half right here. Got them in a very hard position. They're all gonna go inside the house, but Gummy Bear starting to put in some serious shots in them. And Viper PL come in here. He's gonna be taking down another one. Actually, Gummy Bear beating him to the punch right there and getting a nice double kill right there. Only one left going to be. Who is this right here? That is Ju Julie. He is gonna actually manage to outrun Astronaut and take him down right there. Viper coming around the corner though and finishing him off. It is looking like this game is going swiftly into the hands of NASA, as that would probably have been my guess from the start because I've played these guys numerous times, a lot of them in the top 10, these guys, and they're all very, very good players. Yeah, the score has pretty much went for astronauts for now, so they're in the lead with 2-0. Um, although Mag has actually managed to get some tickets on those previous two sets, so they definitely have shown that they are would be capable of getting the points, but they have not been able to actually get to the flag itself, and that pretty much has given the astronauts the lead that they are currently standing on. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Zig. Pretty much the only thing separating them is map control and ability to just control the flag. Basically, you gotta establish control of different areas, and then you can push into the flag, and NASA has done a very, very good job of that. As you can see, they're running as a team, they got all their angles covered. 
And uh, yeah, Viper even got their back covered. Just sensing that his Spidey sense is going off, making Viper sense actually, I should say. Viper sense going off and sensing that something is going wrong. And that he is going to be turning around and going for Zemo right here. And he is going to be going down actually, but throwing down a little bit of Olympia. I do know that is a little bit of a nasty trick that he does. Taking him down with him just in case he does not win the initial gun battle. But very good move around here by Mag. They are going to be actually getting taken down by the tank. They had it completely surrounded, so they wasted a perfectly good opportunity to take out the tank. Which is quite surprising. I totally thought the tank was meant for there, but good good show by Polish tank right there. Just managing to hold on to it. Uh, and it is, uh, so this was... Sorry? Seemed like the first option for the or opportunity for Max to actually capture the flag, but it was quite easily prevented by NASA. So um, almost, but not not quite. The NASA's tank was definitely there to prevent their capture enough, and the infantry got back to the flag. And in interestingly, NASA is actually pushing on to the C flag, even though it definitely seems like the infantry on the flag itself is definitely on Max's side. So. Uh, yeah, and he's get taken out, so they're not going to get that C flag there, but uh, they're only one to get away from fourth point, so definitely a strong gameplay again from NASA's side. Yeah, indeed, and as you can see, Viper getting a little bit caught out right here by the water, gonna need a little bit of assistance from his teammates, but it appears that the tank's giving him a little bit of assistance from the water side there, but getting a little bit overwhelmed right there, he's taken down by Zemo right there. Astronaut PL pushing up all by himself, but managing to get the upper hand on the leader, but does go down in the process from Zemo. The tank from uh, NASA starting to make a little bit of a push up right here, along with the rest of the team. Gummy Bear going to be helping out Zick and taking down a few of the guys, but he himself is starting to go down. Viper making a little bit of a flank around from Garden, I mean Ivy House, and taking down the final one. And they are making a huge push up to the Charlie flag now, starting to really push the enemy team back into their to the edge of the map. Looking like they're in a little bit of trouble right here is Mag. Just uh yeah. They are managing to put a few big time shots on the tank right here, but they are just uh it's no one really around and able to do damage to the tank. So the tank is gonna be able to uh smoke out and repair a little bit right here now that he has his teammates up close and personal with him and he's gonna basically negate all the damage done by the enemies, the enemies uh, AT assault right there. But yeah, Zeke, I think so that... As you um, can see, the mm -hmm. yeah, but majority of the NASA's players are actually on the C flag at the moment, that they are indeed capturing it. And I think one of the Mac players actually is in the middle of the map instead of... Um, yeah, there's actually two of them there at the B flag, waiting for that flag to be captured back for themselves, but... I don't know if that's really the best play here, because... It seems like NASA is actually defending the C flag now quite efficiently, so those players would be definitely better used to be actually kept gaining that C flag back for themselves instead of trying to wait for that B flag to be available to be captured again. And NASA here is only 7 tickets away from the halftime with this clean score of 7-0, which definitely seems to be happening. Dude, I totally think that that was probably not the best call from ESP. Maybe they thought they could win the, the flag capping race there, but absolutely proven to the contrary by NASA. Well, we've got Battle Group trying to make a little bit of a flank on the tank. I think he might have gotten a little bit off. He did get the little bit off, but not too much. But the tank's looking like it's still going on there, but yeah, nothing too major because the game is going to be going into halftime right here. Let's check out these uh, difference in kills and KDs, if any. Yeah, let's, uh, it appears that almost doubling the kills of the enemy team is going to be astronauts, aka NASA, and getting a little bit less than half, almost less than half the deaths as well. The revive's about the similar, but yeah, the vehicle uptime, you can tell, definitely killing the enemy team. Five more minutes than the enemy team, NASA had their tank up. I don't think he went down at all, in fact, the NASA tank, but we'll be checking that out right now. Yes, indeed, Polish King, not going down a single time, just been an absolute rock for his team. Yeah, giving that tank alive is definitely one of your objectives outside of capturing the and holding the flag itself, since losing that tank definitely gives a better advantage for the enemy, so... 
you would always want to protect the tank in this game mode instead of making those risky pushes with it. Yeah, I absolutely agree, and it appears that uh, NASA definitely working around the tank, making sure that it, it being alive is definitely one of their number one priorities. And the fact that it is just alive is such an imposing force on the enemy team, especially when it's sitting on the flag. That is just one guy that you're not going to be able to get rid of unless you push it with all of your anti-tank stuff. But that leaves you exposed to the, obviously, to the tank when you have to push up, up close and personal with it. And exposed to the infantry as well. When you're having to focus on the tank, the infantry just chilling around, like, say the tank is, like, right here. They could, they could be in, like, the logs or just chilling up on one of these houses right here. Yes, it is possible to get onto this house. I have seen it done before. And just able to shoot at the guys while they go after the tank. It's it's not an easy thing to take down a tank. Yo, what is up, Kevin GTKP? What is going on there, my dude? Indeed. So I would like to remind that the viewers that there's still about twenty minutes of time for you to bet your battle coins on the team that you think is going to be winning. And to remind you the command about it is the explanation mark explanation mark bet. The clan tag of the team you are going to be betting on and the amount of battle coins you want to be betting on it. Yes, indeed. That is a very important thing to keep in mind, guys. That is uh, that's a little bit of a fun thing that we like to do here at VF Nations. Anyway, we got Viper pushing up onto the flag already. Having a little bit of a hard time in the first little bit there, but does manage to take down Perky of Castro. He's got another guy showing behind those AT shells. That is Battle Gamer, the AT Assault, looking to... Uh, Get a little bit of a one-up on the enemy tank this time, and oh, it appears that Sabagi has gone with the anti-tank tank this time around. Realizing that he needs to do a little bit more up against the enemy tank this time around. And yeah, Battle Gamer, get up close and personal with the enemy tank. No one from the no one from the uh, NASA side going to be able to help him here. He is in some serious, serious trouble here. Oh no, he is getting really demolished here, but he is going to run out of stuff. Luckily for Polish King, the limpet does not go off on him, so he is going to be safe and sound at the moment. But yeah, NASA having a little bit hard for time. They did manage to get the flag up before Mag, and they are going to be uh, managing to get the W on that round. Mag win easy, please bid on them, says Kevin GTKP. Interesting. Yeah, so... So, yeah, I would like to remind the viewers again that the squad icons there was on the opposite side so it was actually was yes nasa who actually 2k80 win on the first map and i would like to mention that they are, were actually using two classes with available to motor class and they definitely were crunching out those um, tanks away easily with those at least giving them the enemy tank away from the point so um, even though the start seemed to be quite even then the eventually turned out to be a domination from the Nasus side. What division and what platform is this? Uh, Zay, you can help me out with the division part, but this is on Xbox, uh, Kevin GTP. This is for the EU Xbox division. Yes, this is the European Xbox Division 1. Indeed. And yes, there is a second division also going on in the Xbox um, European side, but this match we're looking here is the Division 1. Yeah, indeed, and as you can see, we have got a lot going on here with the tournaments. We got a whole bunch of different divisions for a whole bunch of different leagues going on here at BF Nations. So far, we've got a. You can just check that out for yourselves, and I'm just going to be waiting for another invitation from Perkyo Castro, as he is the one that's setting it up right here. And you can just, uh, you can just uh, give it a little bit of a gander yourselves. Nice to see yeah, some Xbox Yeah, at the Xbox moment, I think action. we're showcasing the playstation 4 europe uh, tournament slides here but uh that's definitely a interesting league on its own at the same time too but um if we talk about how the division one on the european xbox side has been going on then at the moment we actually have the girl club soldiers in the lead with six points and um tied to the second position we have lutz platoon and Astronaut Esports and Muerte Al Guiri. So technically the team here winning today, this match will be taking the tied first spot. So interesting to see the Ooh, outcome or the outcome of this match. 
We're going to be getting here with Giant's Shadow for the second time in a row this match, guys. And I'm assuming that they're going to be uh, switching up the sides. Because it is very apparent from all the games that I have played to me, Zake, that it is very much advantageous to start off on the, uh, the side that Nasik did get to start off on. Did get to start off on first. But as we did see from the tick, uh, the tick overview, that they did not get a single cap, that Mag did not get a single cap on the flag at all. NASA was just completely dominant on the flag, just com just totally making sure that if they didn't have anything else, they had the flag, pretty much. Indeed. So the second map, but we should be seeing the Sinai Desert, and that's a interesting game mode on its own, since um, you're not giving you're not given tickets from destroying the tank or from the kills themselves. So it's only about actually being on the flag and holding it. And Wait, um, so you said we're supposed to be on Sinai Desert. That is the correct answer. That it should be on Sinai Desert, but it seems like for some reason we have set to be playing on again on <laughs> Giant Shadow. Yeah, I know, right? That's uh. It sort of took me by surprise right there. I thought that, I thought that, uh, isn't it that both teams get to decide the, uh, the map, or is that not correct? Well, that is technically correct, correct, but you're not able to replay a same map, and since there's only two maps in the map pool, then technically we have only two maps, and only two maps that they can play. Uh, I might have to, uh, let these guys know that. Maybe they're uh, a little bit, uh, confused, a little bit confuzzled right here. Yeah, we should uh, just uh, make sure we let them know down in the, uh, the FM chat quick. Yeah, it appears that Zake is on that right now. Indeed. We'll see if they'll be switching the map in a second here, but if not, then I guess we'll be seeing another giant shadow. And we'll see it's up for the PF Nation referees to decide how the outcome will be taken into the account, but. Yep, indeed. It appears that they've gotten your message, Zake, as the lobby was destroyed, and I'm assuming that I'm going to be getting another invite quite soon. But yeah, guys, if you are liking what you are watching, liking what you are hearing, liking the commentary, liking the co-commentary, liking just anything about this, make sure you guys drop a follow for BFN because they'll be doing this quite a lot. And just a quick reminder that I am your commentator and streamer, Kamaka18. I do have a channel of my own, and if you guys are interested in checking out more Battlefield stuff, when BFN is not live, I do some stuff too, so make sure you guys go and follow BFN and follow me. Indeed. So, what can you tell more about yourself as a commentator, a streamer? So, you started off, like, how far again? Like, uh, how, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this uh, about five months now. I usually am able to keep track of it because I usually get about 100 followers a month, and I'm about 700 followers right now, almost to 800. But, it, right. but I've been doing this for about six or five, five or six months. Take. And I've been uh, steadily improving over time. You can tell from my earlier cast that I was not as experienced. But yeah, I'm starting to, uh, from having, being able, given opportunities like this, which I'm really thankful for, to uh, cast like on channels like BFN and stuff like that, I have been able to really, really get a lot better at casting. Practice does make perfect, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a very Indeed. true fact. Practice will always make you better. So related to that, I think it would be a good idea to update the scoreboard since NASA is in the lead 0 to 1. Yes, indeed. That would definitely be a good idea, Zeke. And I will just be, uh, sorry about that. Just give me one second. BFN overlay and just making sure that NASA is in the lead as they are. Oh, I'm dumb. Of course, I don't need to be doing that. I set it to where I can just uh, do it from here. I'm dumb. Anyways, there we go. Should be seeing NASA 1, Mag 0. Great. Yo, what is up? Uh, Valb, I think is your name? Bye, what is up, my dude? Hello and goodbye, Valb. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Yeah, Thanks I'm just for stopping be by. If we are getting guests getting the invites from Perkyo Castro here. And getting in here. Yes, they were all just waiting on me. And we are going to be getting in here real quick, guys, with this 
what could, which, which is actually going to be the final round, depending on who wins it or not. We're going to be seeing either a win for NASA or a tie between them. And I think that, I think that, um, where to Al, Al Guire, right? Al, Al Guire. <laughs> Muerte al I Muerte have no al idea if that's the correct way to pronounce it, but uh, I don't know. Muerte Just call him Mac. Going to be, uh, I think they have a definite more of a chance on this map because um, it's not going to re really be taking into account the amount of kills. And as you saw, Astronauts Esports is really a good team at doing the killing and also doing a good job at the capping. But Muerte al Guiri going to have a little bit more of an opportunity to go in cap up the flags this time around, but if we do see similar play from them in terms of map control and in terms of just going for the flag, I think that they will be, they will have a little bit of a hard time. They're just going to need to buckle down and go for that flag no matter what, get control of the ridge, get control of the map, and then just send their guys in to cap up the flag in addition to winning the tank fights, which they did have a little bit of a hard time with in that first little bit there, as we saw. So, did you actually have the time to check if the teams will be on the correct sides this time or not? No, so they will not will be on the correct actually... time sides this time. So, so I will be uh, yeah. going into our little thing that we got here, and I will be uh, just switching it up real quick. As these guys are, uh, you know, I got some time to change up my labels because these guys are just, uh, you know, still picking the sides, believe it or not. I'm really surprised it's taken them this long, but I am definitely taking advantage of this opportunity. <laughs> but yeah, it appears that they have gone through much deliberation in what to pick this time. Marte Alguiri, obviously a little bit shocked and appalled by how they were defeated so handily by astronauts on the first map, so... They pr apparently went back to the drawing board and probably picked a few different classes. Let's see what's going on here. Yes, as you can see, rocking the demolition driver and the mortar support this time. Interestingly enough, they're going to be not rocking the uh, battle mechanic, which I, which is the typical meta of the game, because Indeed, the demolition driver cannot. Definitely. Maybe uh, not so confident in terms of his uh, tank driving skills, but more confident in his ability to take out the tank with the dynamite. Maybe putting some uh, more emphasis on his uh, infantry ability this time around. So that could be a good decision for Sabagi right here. But, yeah. Indeed, so I personally have yet to see a match where the team that chose a demolition driver would be taking a win on a map, but. Of course, uh, there's the sample size for my experience is still too low that I cannot really be saying the outcome of this specific map that we're about to see. But definitely would be an interesting interesting to see if anyone can use the demolition trailer efficiently. Yes indeed, I, I'm, you're pretty much spot on with that. I have not seen a single person win with the uh, anti... with the uh, anti tank driver, sorry. Yeah. The demolition driver. Demolition driver. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, it appears that he is going to go down first. Inability to repair the tank definitely going to give Polish King here a little bit of a upper hand on them, and he's just going to be driving up into their spawn and looking to take them down. Going to be missing the medic right there, but yeah, as you saw, NASA just getting into good positions and winning the map control. They've got a guy basically on every angle. They got two guys on the hill, two guys on the point, and Viper coming around the corner here looking to do a little bit of damage against Perkyo Castro. Takes him down. He's still got one left on this corner right here. He is actually going to go down from the tank, split off from his leader, Perkyo Castro, and he's going to go down. It appears that the medic is going to try and come to revive, given another target here for Viper. So I'm going to be chilling here with Viper still. Apparently doesn't hear the guy coming up behind him, and he is going to go down from Zemo Cooper, and he is going to be getting... That revive for his down leaders. They're being pushed up for the point once again. They are on the easier side to come at this from, so they are not down and out just yet. And I think that they definitely still have a chance, but they just need to focus on getting rid of the tank right there. But it appears that Battle Gamer is not going after the tank. In fact, he's going the guys on the bridge, taking down Astronauta PL. 
Yes, in this specific game mode, it definitely isn't over. Even though we have to take it sorry, all the way to one away from being a point. So, uh, t since you only get tickets by holding the flag, and the team that is on the flag only is able to get tickets. So, yeah, that's... Um, the team is able to definitely do a comeback, but in order to do that, they definitely would be making it the push to the actual flag itself. And they're definitely starting to run out of time to do that in this first sector. And at the moment, they're just hiding behind a rock, and there we actually finally see some smoke being used, but it doesn't seem to be placed so uh, well for themselves, so they're not really able to use it as a way to advance towards the flag instead. So, well, yeah, so here we have NASA only one ticket away. Uh, it seems like not one of the Huerta players were able to actually reach the flag at the end of this first sector. Well, but getting really close there was Battle Gamer. He did get a nice triple kill on the hill right there, but none of his teammates really able to uh, give him any assistance. Battle Gamer doing the best for his team so far, going 6 to 5. We're going to get a quick look at the KDs. Most of them. Uh, Two-fifths of the team not getting a single kill, including the tanker. That is really rough. Maybe the uh, in increased focus on his infantry gameplay, maybe not too, uh, maybe not too smart of a move. I do know that they do get dynamite as that class, and he, but they just haven't been focusing enough on the tank. Is uh, Mag? They probably should just uh, be going after the tank. And it appears that Polish King is going to be picking the uh, the anti anti vehicle tank this time. Just switch it up with Sabagi, but oh yeah, as you can see, just going in after the tank right off the bat is Viper PL. Just hitting the hitting the enemy tank with Polish King at the exact same time. But it appears that old Battle Gamer getting in a good position and catching Polish King with his pants down and taking him down with the anti-tank grenade. But Viper PL gonna be taking him down in turn, getting a little revenge going on here. And Astronauta going to have to get off the flag and go back for his old teammate right here. Going to be going, having to uh, take some time to get off the flag and does get that clutch revive for his teammate. Going to be getting the tank still surviving right here. Yeah, that was close for NASA to actually lose their tank, but uh, that was definitely a better start for the sector for Max since they actually managed to capture two tickets for themselves while they actually were losing their own tank and stuff. But they also lost the infantry fights on the actual flag, so they lost the possession of it and it's now, or NASA is about to get the lead on the second sector in any second. Yes, um, indeed. But yeah, speaking so, of losing infantry fights, Gummy Bear PL just coming around the corner and absolutely decimating those guys. They just just took out three guys. We've been seeing a lot of three pieces. He's going for the four. Almost takes down Castro as well, but he almost. is going to just manage to get the upper hand on him right there. Castro still going in for another bit of a flank, but gets spotted by Zick and gets taken down. Still on the little bit of a flank right here. Zemo Cooper going for a little bit of a flank on Kirkio Castro. He's going to get spotted by Zick and gets taken down right there. Kirkio Castro trying to go leader versus leader right here. He's going to get flanked in the back. Having a little bit of a hard time shooting through the smoke. Does manage to take him down, but does in fact go down from Viper PL, who does take out um him and his little friend right there. That was Battle Gamer. Taking out the both of them right there, going 12 to 2. What a beastly person this guy is. Indeed. And um, NASA is here at 4 to get away from getting the second point. That they definitely has managed to keep Muerte again away from the flag. And uh, they're not really pushing for the spawn camping yet. But they can do it in a second if they see that they actually have the opportunity to do so at the moment. There's only like uh, three of the Muerte uh, players relatively close to the flag, but it seems like those are being wiped out left and right, so... Uh, definitely seems like since the last guy alive from the Muerte isn't the squad leader there, they definitely will be needing to take a again at the spawn from the other way base and see how far they could be getting now. Since now they're actually running out of time quite much because it's only one ticket and about five seconds away from the NASA to get the second point. That's unfortunate. At, right at the end, Sabagi was just rushing the uh, the point right there, and he did manage to get a little bit of a last minute run over on Astronauta right there, but yeah, that's he was just trying his best to just rush the point and just get as many bodies in the point as possible, but just could not get anywhere close to anybody but the tank. 
And yeah, they're just having a really hard time. NASA just showing that they are a really hard to compete with team in the division, showing that they definitely deserve to be there in the top division. So this is just usually the sector that tends to be most even when it comes to the actual tickets that are gained in the actual sector. But, um, so it's not easy to say which team has the most advantage in this specific sector. So, at the moment, again, the majority of the flag is from the Nasus players. Uh, they are just wiping out the Mortars out too, so they are definitely going to get the early advantage on this sector too. We have taken yeah, and the last one Charlie. on the flag is actually going to go down by Viper PL, just taking down two of those guys, and as you saw, pushing up with the Medic, just going in tandem with his teammates, just pushing together, and he is now going after the tank, does miss the initial grenade, does miss the secondary grenade, and he is going to be going up to it with the Lumpet now. But like we've said earlier, it is going to be very hard to charge it with the Lumpet. But yeah, it appears that he is going to go down from Polish King in the tank, the King of Poland coming in and gracing us with his presence right here. Battle Gamer trying to uh, do a little bit of regicide right here and take out the King of Poland. Those guys that don't know what that word means, it means to kill a king anyways. He is not going to be successful and he is going to go down from Polish King. Just getting the little spawn trap going on here. Going on here is NASA just, just absolutely handing it to the enemy team right now. Yeah, it definitely seems like NASA is going for the clean sweep on the second map here too. So... Again, Mortar needs to be paying more attention how they're actually going to be pushing for the flag and wait until their all infantry players are actually back on the game and make sure that they are using those smokes and make sure that they are pushing from the same direction at the same time. And um, it just doesn't seem to be working out them for the light the way that they're playing it now because they are covered from left and right by NASA and they are not being left to leave the spawn at all. Yeah, NASA's just got them in a little bit of a death trap right here. Just got them in a little bit of a spawn camp. Viper and Astronauts are just absolutely just decimating them as soon as they push up. They got those long range rifles, so as soon as they push up even remotely out of their spawn, they're just getting dome beasts. They're just getting two shotted. Just getting team shotted by multiple people at the same time, just having a really hard time pushing out. It seems that they're pushing out one at a time, or at least in very separated areas right here probably could go for a full team push to one area but that is not going to happen as it, we are going into halftime and we are going to be seeing astronaut esports just just absolutely giving it to the enemy team time and time again let's check out these uh kills. getting almost triple the enemy kills <laughs> absolutely disgusting right there and getting about uh a third of the enemy deaths as just showing that astronauts is a tier above the enemy team right here and just really showing where the Algeri that they're just <laughs> that they deserve to be in that top spot up along with a uh, girl club I do believe is the people you said were in the top spot correct indeed so this is definitely not over yet for this map though since um, oh, well the size will be Swipe so will be changed and it could be argued that astronauts did play on the easiest side there for the majority of the round here. Uh, it's of course a sector specific which one is the easier but uh, it's tend to be said that the first and second sector are in the favor of the red team and um, at least based on the matches that I've seen that seems to be case most of the time but not definitely always. So. We'll see if um, that will be the Murter's agenda here on this second half of this map and if they'll be able to tie it up and maybe even win the whole map. They still def definitely have the opportunity to do so. Yeah, they still have an opportunity to win it, but I think that they're probably just a little bit demoralized at this point from uh, the, the beating that they've been getting from NASA all game pretty much. NASA just showing that they are once again a really once again a really good team. I have played against these guys. I have I have gotten the upper hand on them personally a little bit, but they are but they do get the upper hand on me sometimes as well. And they are a very good team. I I've seen them in the pu the public lobbies practicing together time and time again. So you know that this is a team that plays together all the time. They they've got each other's backs. They've got each other's angles covered, and it just seems that this is a completely different story between them and Mag. 
But yeah, we're getting in here with the initial push for the flag. It appears that NASA is going to be getting on the cap from the... Well, I, I personally believe that the side that NASA is starting from is the easier side right now. And they're starting to take a few shots right. from all of the, the mag guys. The one coming with a little bit of a flank here is Astronaut putting some shots on Sergio Castro, putting his entire clip into him, having a little bit of a issue hitting him off the start, but did manage to eventually get the upper hand on him. It is going up on the hill behind the tank, apparently not at all afraid from the tank. Polish King is going to be getting taken down in the tank. Actually, his tank has not in gone down just yet, but he is going to have to bail out of it. Sabagi going to be the only one left for his team, and Polish King going to look to get the repair tool kill, does manage to get it. Ooh, <laughs> cheeky. And that is going to be a full team wipe from Mag. You don't see that too often happen, so yeah, he was oh, definitely God. surrounded by the infantry players, and even though they weren't really throwing too much explosives on it, they did throw we enough of those hand grenades on it that the repair tool could actually finish the kill off. In another place, again, again, in the situation that they need to push for the flag, and we'll see how they'll be able to do it at the moment, they definitely are capturing it, and... Actually, it seems like they're wiping the astronauts also out of the flag, so it seems like now it's more their time to show what they actually can do. Yeah, indeed. I was about to make a little bit of a comment on that. We've got uh, Mag actually going in for the spawn cap now. We've got Zemo Cooper looking to get a little bit of a flank on these guys. He's going to take down Astronaut with some very good aim. Three shots, three kills. He's got another guy out to his right. That is the enemy leader. He's going to get gassed to death by Zik, though. But nowhere near the point is a NASA. They're just getting... They've gotten overcapped on this objective now, too. We've got a Polish thing. I don't know if it's sandbagging or what, but they're just getting a little... They're starting to get a little bit pushed off the flag right here. But, yeah, it appears that uh, having a little bit of a hard time retaining the flag is mag. They have gotten the majority of their team wiped out, including their leader, and they're going to start to get pushed back right here. Sabagi going to be taking down Astronauta PL. They're starting to make a little bit of a push-up for Gummy Bear as well. Going to be getting taken down by him, though. And it's just a big fight on the flag right now. NASA starting to push into the flag. I'm gonna hop in here with Gummy Bear. Look at that! Look at that for a for a uh, mini map right there. He is gonna go down from Battle Gamer though. So far, doing the best for his team, putting his team on his back, the human backpack for his team this time around. So yeah, Viper gonna be taken down. One does get traded off by Cooper though, cool. and they are gonna be holding on to this flag right here. Mag just showing that they have got a little bit more of the team than they initially let on, and they are starying to. Show that they've got some seriously good teamwork in the in the back of the trunk right there. Got a little bit of uh, got got a little bit of better teamwork than they have been originally letting on for us, and they are looking to win out in this first sector right here. Starting to make a little bit of a comeback, taking down Gummy Bear P. Once again, his battle gamer. He is now going 15 to 17, getting a lot of kills, but also a lot of deaths. And he is going to get another death from Viper PL, his counterpart. Polish King going to be howling. Uh, Julia Tron Number, whatever his name is, <laughs> up on top of the hill. And, uh, yeah. So, so it's the first time that we saw uh, NASA on this side that they're actually pushing for the flag all the way from the spawn. And you could have easily spot them that they definitely did it differently than Mac actually did it before. So they were actually pushing as a one unit into the flag and actually got to the flag on time and prevented. Mag to capture that last difficult point, so now it seems like NASA, even though they had a bit of a slip on the grip on this specific map, now they definitely are back on the pole, and uh, we'll see if they'll be able to get those seven tickets now straight. Yeah, and they are in a very good position to do so. They've got Zik on the back of the hill, so as soon as, if any of them die, they can just get the quick respawn, and Astronauta able to just go up there and do a bit of damage with by himself. He is going to go down from uh, Zemo Cooper, though, just getting the upper hand on him in this game so far. But yeah, Perkyo Castro just trying to push up with the flag solo. He is going to get pushed in on by Polish King and the Gummy Bear PL. Does manage to take down one, but Gummy Bear PL does get his aim down finally and manages to take him out. Sabagi still trying to shoot Viper PL off of the tower position right there, but he is just... Not really able to do that. That is one of the most OP positions in this entire map, so he is going to have a really hard time of shooting him off. And slowly but surely, NASA is starting to cap up, I mean, starting to catch up to them. Excuse me. Gummy Bear PL looking to uh, just uh, harass the tank with his face, just looking to scare him away, <laughs> but does get eventually run over by the tank. That is why you do not do the hokey pokey with the tank right there. Anyways. 
Yeah, I'm pretty good fast. I'm trying to make a little bit of a push-up, but gets dome piece by Zick as soon as I land on him. I've just got the touch of death right now. Zemo Cooper trying to go up a little bit of a revive, but Viper gonna be taking him down from the tower. Speaking of going for the tower, we've got Battle Gamer trying to get the upper hand on Viper, but does go down again in 2 to 6 up against his counterpart. That is not very good, and it appears that NASA did have a little bit of a slip up, but they are going to be getting this game going swiftly into their hands. Enough funny business from NASA starting to uh, buckle down and win the match overall right here. Yeah, it definitely seemed like that they prepared for a kill that NASA managed to get. Um, definitely loosened up their feels of the match and they let it all slip a bit and where they almost managed to capitalize on that event, but not quite. Only one ticket away from actually getting the first point on this whole match, but uh, well done by NASA to actually get the crit back onto the game and taking the clear win here again on the second map. Yes, indeed. NASA is going to be weighing this game very handily, 2-0, to zero, but hats off to Muerta Alguire for the second half For the second half they pulled out of that match. They they really started to catch up. Well, I mean, they weren't really close to them in the end, but they started to catch up. They were a third of the enemy's kills and a third of, and three times as many deaths as the enemy team at halftime. But they did manage to bring it back to about half and half. So it's, uh, so yeah, definitely a lot better of a show from them on the second half. So I do have to applaud them a little bit for sticking it in there and not letting their, not letting the game get to them. Let's uh, see these final KDs right here. Top person in the game apparently going to be Viper PLKD going 33 to five. Man of the match right there, taking out the infantry as well as the tanks, and assisting his team in winning 48 engagements out of uh, about 50, 53 that he was a part of. So yeah, very good player this guy. Definitely got to keep an eye on right here. But Zick, the control leader, also doing a good job at not dying and just going and getting killed only three times. Very good job by Zick right there. But yeah, we're going to take a final look right here at the sets. And yeah, that is going to be about it. Anything you want to add before we sign off here, Zick? Yeah, so I would like to remind that the astronauts esports managed to get to this uh, tied. Uh, spot one now on the leaderboard of division one of the european xbox one side and they are tying that spot with the girls club soldiers so uh, i would like to check when these two teams are actually facing each other so that would be definitely an interesting match to see but uh, i think we will be needing to wait for that match actually all the way to the last week of the division so that's still four weeks away so we're saving the um, best for last i suppose <laughs> the past last we're indeed saving the last <laughs> last one for the best yeah that's why they say it indeed yeah. um but yeah so i would like to remind that there will be another streams going on later on tonight in the north american region where we'll be looking into a two other xbox matches and uh, there we would be seeing team castle facing the point cap and after which we'll be seeing the business facing apex predators and just to give you some kind of a background information how those teams have been performing previously if i'll just open the division table here quickly so team castle is actually at the moment in the tight three-way tied on the top so team castle team revenant and point cap are the three teams leading the division one on the north american side and then we have tied fourth um sex or section with team requirement and apex predators and yeah interesting to see how that division table will be changing after those two matches later on tonight yeah i think we're in for some really good matches here zake not just uh I have seen a little bit, I have faced both Point Gap and uh, CSL, and I do know that they are both very, very good teams. And we, I have seen the actually them play each other in a little bit of a game in another league, but I will be saving that information to the match time so that I can have a little bit of something, something to talk about and give a little bit of suspense to the viewers. But I can tell you guys, it is going to be a very, very good game, and you are not going to want to miss out on it. So join us back at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for that match. But yeah, anything else you want to say, Zeke, before we sign off? Uh, well, th I would like to. Thanks for all the viewers who tuned up for this match, and hopefully we'll be catching you later on. Yes, indeed. Hopefully we will be seeing you guys later on, too. 
Once again, I am Kamaka18. Don't forget to follow both BFN and me on your way out. And this has been Kamaka18 and Chaos Zig signing off from BFN. I will catch you guys all at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. See you later. Catch you later.